nose won't stop bleeding. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Sometimes it can just be a bit lonely. Pregnancy. I just sat down to pee and my nose won't stop bleeding. Why right now? <laughs> Good morning. Finally got it to stop. <laughs> Leave the night in there for now though, because I really want to make breakfast. I'm starving. Does anyone else's dog just like to snuggle right in their robe during the winter time? This is her favorite spot. We're just having a little relaxation time and then I'm gonna get ready for tonight's event to celebrate Chanel number no. five, which is a fragrance that I have smelled pretty much my entire life, first with my grandma and then my mom and now me, which I find very comforting while I'm being away from them. I kind of have that familiar smell if I just take out that bottle of perfume. I'm also really grateful to have worked with the Fashion and Beauty House this past year. So um, yeah, I'm happy to go out and see them tonight and just commemorate this special moment together. All right, we've got some work to do. I'm thinking curly hair since I don't really often wear that. And then I received the number five holiday collection from Chanel. So I wanna play around with those products and do a soft sparkly eye look with a red lip. In my head, I think that's gonna look very festive, but not too over the top, which will work well for day or night. And that is gonna go perfectly for the event. Uh, you'll see what I mean later. hotel which is very fitting because it's a heritage hotel that was opened here in Hong Kong in 1928. Number five was born a little bit earlier in 1921 as the world's first abstract fragrance and although a lot of the formula that contains 80 different ingredients hasn't changed it has varied slightly to reflect the woman of that particular period. I did a game to help me identify which version of number five suits my personality and preferences. Lion. Mm -hmm. And Lion is uh, have the attitude of brave and confident. My son's being born in the year of the tiger, and I'm doing the nursery full of lions. Oh really? So lions have been around me because I've been buying <laughs> lion stuff. So that's why I was like shocked. Yeah, I'm like I'm not I'm not clued into this. It's a significant <laughs> symbol in my life right now. <laughs> I ended up with the latest version of number five, which has a slightly more citrus and is a little fresher smelling than the classic. They're taking a photo and you're in the back sniffing. <laughs> In the Peninsula Hotel, you must eat Hainanese chicken rice. We've got a gorgeous table with a view of the Christmas tree, and we're eating that. And how do I say this one again? How about you? second trimester two more weeks to go until my third not even because I'm like basically done 26 whoa where's the time going look at this look at this it is getting out there babe 
Time to do the tree. I usually have my tree up and everything organized by December 1st, but this year I have been so overwhelmed with stuff to do and like work because I've taken on a lot now so that I can rest later closer to my due date. But um, I'm just, I'm not fully into the Christmas spirit because of it. So I'm gonna take two hours right now. And by me, I mean my husband because I can't really put up the tree this year. I'm gonna put on the decorations. <laughs> And this is the very first year that Tom has ever set up a tree in his life. because in the window, it looks like there's more trees in the reflection, so it's so pretty. There's a few more things I want to get to add, but I'm really happy with it. And I got a light up star this year, which I love, because usually that area is more dark. Makes a difference, I think. And then I got the um, basket for the bottom instead of a tree skirt. Do you want your Christmas present? Babe? It's like a sensory thing for dogs. So it's supposed to mimic grass. So you hide their treats inside and they have to find them. So it's like how they would be in the wild. So it works their brain. And then also if you have a dog that eats its food too fast, you can hide its food in here and then it needs to work and slow down to eat. You have to find it. Yep. There she goes. So it's good. She found it? Yeah. Yep, she got it. Good girl! Good girl! <laughs> Very bad sketch. Basically tiny reindeers. And then the face is like a simple dot. Uh, and then... This is the same? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I drew really, really fast. This is why I'm not a nail artist. <laughs> what I asked for? Yes. We just came to this really cute cafe called Reaction in TST and I asked if they have any Christmas drinks on the menu and they don't so I asked them to surprise me with something a little Christmassy in a latte if they could. And this is what I got. So cute, a little bell and mistletoe. I am just getting ready to go to a Christmas market with Joyce uh, in Central. This will be my very first Christmas market this year. I, is it my first ever Christmas market in Hong Kong? Maybe. So excited to go and try some festive snacks. I've got my maternity jeans on, my stretchy maternity jeans. They are wonderful. I wish I bought these earlier. And I am ready to go. Queen of Christmas. Everyone, 
count to three. One, two, three. three. I don't know how you eat it with a chopstick. I can't. I have to like get in here. Clean hands. I can how eat do chicken you... wings too. Really? But it's I literally so heavy. no, but I literally need to shove the whole chicken wing in my mouth. Oh, you can do that. I'm so clean. No. So juicy. We're eating Sichuan gluten-free uh, fried chicken. It's so good. We're at Little Bao. Free. So good. Good. Do you like it? I love it. It's super crispy. It's not hard crispy either. Taylor and Elbow Sign doing the most for Hot Pot for the three of us. <laughs> Good morning. Happy birthday. Thanks, Mom. Happy birthday, dear Taylor. Thank you. Can you see it? Can you see the dog? No, you're filming the roof. Oh, there's... Yeah, yeah. Down, no, down, Grandma. I got up, <laughs> uh, did a bit of work, and was feeling quite down. So I put myself back to bed after a good cry and had a little nap. My husband noticed. He's like, why are you in such a weird mood today? Um, it's my family, I miss my family. As I get older, I just feel like it's so important for me to be around the people that raised me and made me and I'm finding it hard. I haven't been home for like, what, two and a half, three years now, is it? Almost? Especially know. during my pregnancy, I wish I could just hug my family members and go to my grandma's house to eat her cooking once in a while. And sometimes when I'm feeling something, I just wanna pick up the phone and call my sisters and ask them about this certain symptom if they've experienced it but I can't because we're 13 hours apart so they're sleeping while I'm awake. I have a lot of great support here. My friends, my husband, but um, I don't know. Sometimes it can just be a bit lonely pregnancy. And then with this new variant, um, quarantine has been extended and it there's just never been any plan for how and when we're getting out of this here in Hong Kong so it just keeps it feels like I'm getting further and further away from seeing them just when I feel like I'm getting a little bit closer but hopefully I can ba get back there soon so they can meet him I'm going to get up get ready for dinner it's gonna be a good night I'm still happy I just I always reflect during these days after I talk to everyone and then everything kind of sinks in and it hits me. I don't know why. I really hope I can be going home next year around the holiday season. You can't, mind you can't pull out. You cannot go huh? all the way down. Oh, sh sh we're screwed. <laughs> but not in my culture. More, uh, all the way down, still a little bit. <laughs> yep. Pistachio and uh, lychee. Mm. And vanilla. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Officially reached my third trimester. I'm 28 weeks today. 
um, and we are at our appointment. Hopefully we can see him today because last time he put his feet and hands in front of his face so we couldn't see him at all. Oh, he's facing, facing down. Come on. <laughs> what did we learn? What? He's hairy. You see, there is some hairs. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Can I see? This is the scalp of the baby. Oh, so he already has hair. Mm, that's good. I need to decrease my uh, carbohydrates because my water retention is quite high. So why there is increased volume of lactose or water around the baby is because of the glucose. Oh. Yeah. So it's also proof that Maybe your carbohydrate intake is too So let's reduce the carbohydrates. Okay. Now of course you need to take because carbohydrates for energy. Yeah. And not just quit all the carbohydrates, but not need too much. Okay. Good morning. I have been getting quite a bit of acid reflux lately, and um, I was talking to a friend on Instagram about it and she said it's actually related to hair growth which is interesting because that is exactly what's happening right now but I didn't know that babe come here you all need to hear this remember on my birthday I told you I threw up in my mouth and swallowed it and it keeps happening like right before we ate dinner um I didn't so in the third trimester, your estrogen increases, which causes the esophagus to relax and the stomach acid to come up more. And the estrogen increases to produce hair for the baby. Ooh. So people say when your baby has a lot of hair, you get that. Ooh, Isn't that interesting? Yeah, you saw hair. Yeah, and that's when I started getting that. Your body is crazy. Interesting. Isn't the woman's body amazing? acid reflux and all. Also, since entering my third trimester, I've noticed that he's grown a lot. Like the difference between even just a month ago to now is very significant. Um, and I'm feeling a lot more heavy and tired and I'm getting more pain in my pelvis area and legs and feet, especially if I have a busy day. I've been having days where I've been on my feet for long hours, um, where I'm out shooting or working and I've paid for it a lot at night with the leg cramps. The leg cramps are so bad. Now they're like in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping. It lasts for so long. I don't know why it's getting worse and worse. Maybe because he's getting heavier and my legs can't. No, because you are wearing heels. Babe. It used to be fine, but yeah, now I think I'm really done. I think I need to not be on my legs for too long because I pay for it every night and I just want to sleep. It really hurts. Because nothing was working, like massaging wasn't helping. I just needed to let them pass. Um, stretching it seemed to help a bit. It's like cats. I cannot do anything and then I just watching you. In pain. Yep. There's a delivery, that's why she's barking because our intercom rang. But while we're talking about the negatives, the estrogen also has some positives because my hair has gotten quite a bit thicker. And I read that it's not that you're growing more hair, it's that your hair falls out slower or like not at all, but then those new hairs will follow after birth and some people experience hair loss then but yeah i'm just enjoying this new thickness and thicker nails and my skin has gotten a little bit better it, w it isn't perfect i do get the odd breakout but it's not as bad as it was during my first and second trimester so yay estrogen has arrived um let's make breakfast so as you saw i was told to lower carbs not cut them out so i still have my piece of toast in the morning it's very grainy and seedy and high in fiber and then i do eat fruit maybe once or twice a day i have uh the odd bowl of yogurt but i'm just trying to be mindful of how much carbs i put in my body and when i do what those carbs are so i'm reaching for more complex carbs like sweet potatoes or quinoa or like this kind of thing so that it's more nutritious for him <laughs> It is dinner time. 
time I am going to make a vegan pasta tonight that I saw on Instagram on this account. I'm gonna be using chickpea and lentil noodles for myself and then just regular noodles for Tom. I think I'm gonna sign off this vlog here because it's getting pretty long and I have a few more gifts to get tomorrow and then I'm pretty much ready for Christmas. This year Joyce is hosting a dinner party on Christmas Eve so we're gonna be going to that and Christmas Day we'll just have a quiet little family dinner at home and that's about it. I am going to be moving right after Christmas because we are gonna start renovations so we're moving apartments. So I'll be packing up and moving and uh, because of that, I'll probably not release another vlog until after the new year. So I just want to wish you a very happy holiday season. Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. Happy New Year. Thank you guys so much for all of the support and watching my videos here on YouTube, especially on my fertility journey. You guys have been so encouraging and positive and uplifting throughout this whole thing. And um, it's, it's meant a lot. A lot, a lot. Really looking forward to sharing more of my life with you next year. And until then, I will see you on other social media. I'll, I'll be posting on Instagram a lot still, I'm sure of it. So if you miss me, please check in on me there or message me there or talk to me there. And um, yes, that is all, I guess. <laughs> see you guys very soon. Bye.